Hello everybody, today I have this 2018 Fragrance de Cascadia and uh, we're having an issue uh, the issue that we're having is this code over here this is a uh, watering fuel circuit fell high this is a very common issue on, on DD15 engines, DD13s, DD16s, Cascadias, Coronados or anything that has this engine uh, the problem that um, we are getting right here is then the system is detecting a uh, open circuit this is what it means so let's see where we are going to find let's see oh. filter this is not where we are going to go I need to check the voltages. <laughs> voltages. Okay, right here. Watering fuel. Let's do it. Uh, so see over here. The reason why this call, this code is getting active is because we have five volts over here. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Because uh, if the code uh, were uh, unactive, we will, we will have a lower voltage. A lower voltage means then the circuit is closed and is getting grounded. But when the voltage is high, the way as this one is, means then we have an open circuit. It will be a positive cable then it is not reaching to the sensor or it could be a negative source then is missing um, on the wiring uh, then goes to the sensor so um, the best way to replace this problem will be uh, following the uh, protocol on how to replace it and everything you can follow you can follow the troubleshooting. This is the troubleshooting. I don't know if I'm gonna get a troubleshooting. See right here. You can follow the troubleshooting. It will tell you then you have to measure continuity and all that stuff. La 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 la. But you know, it is so hard to work on these engines because they are so compact and it is not uh, that easy to uh, reach to the specific locations that they're uh, talking to. So uh, the easiest way to uh, determine the problem will be to, um, um, most of the cases, right? This is, I'm talking about most of the cases. The most of the common case of this problem is a faulty wiring harness. A faulty wiring harness is the one that is going to cause this problem and as a result you're going to have the check engine light on it's just the check engine light on there is no other issues it is just the check engine light on we don't have no other issues besides um the uh light on but um the um proper repair will be to check continuity check the wiring check which source of power is missing and repair it properly that will be the best way to repair it just as the troubleshooting say but i don't actually go through a troubleshooting most of the time uh i don't i, I use some of the times this troubleshooting to uh, uh listen to some um options then i can find but i don't really go through everything because i am I mean, I, 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 I do the repairs based on my experience, and if I cannot do a repair, I will um, use a troubleshooting to get more ideas on how it is. The less troubleshooting I use, the more, more experience I get. So that is the way I see things, but everybody has their own opinion. But I just wanted to give you just a closer look. And this problem is going to be similar for all the D15 engines. It doesn't matter what type of year, what type of model, if it's a newer Cascadia, older Cascadia, in this case, it's a 2018, which is the newer body Cascadia. But if you have the older body Cascadia, it's going to be the same. But uh, just a little talk about the 973, that's the code number and the uh, what's the num the his id number this one the p this one number is a p i d 973 the same number basically but just a little talk uh you have any questions 
use the comment section below you wanna contact me directly go to instagram francisco my youtube you wanna send support to the channel check the description of the video how this is how to send support to the channel um uh, like the video share and subscribe and thank you for watching